<laughs> Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? It is Measure Self here. Today, we are reacting to Llama Arts Animations. Now, I've made so many videos reacting to Llama Arts and also a lot of other horror animation channels. All right, I love this stuff, all right. So yeah, uh, I've, I've been completely missed out on Llama Arts' videos for like the past six months, so let's catch up today. And be sure to check out our channel if you haven't uh, and go subscribe if you haven't. And I also wanna give a quick shout out to Measure Self Animations. If you guys don't know, I am starting to make animations from next year onwards, all right? I'm working with a bunch of talented animators and gonna be collabing with a bunch of people and you guys really shouldn't miss out. I've actually got a bunch of animations that we've previously made, so you guys really don't wanna miss out. Uh, if you wanna subscribe now before there's any videos, uh, feel free. But yeah, guys, all right, I'm really excited for this channel and I need you guys, all, all you guys need to do is subscribe. Now, I haven't seen any of these animations from the past six months, all right? So let's go to the latest one, Abduction Horror Story. Here we go. Abduction horror story. Dear God. Huh? My name is Josh Roberts. Josh it's Roberts? It's been a year since I was abducted. <gasps> I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, was it yesterday? I was walking home from school. Oh, it was about school? 6 p.m. and there was a what? full moon and a chill in the air. Okay. Oh. I stepped off the bus and for the first time, oh. someone else got off with me. Uh oh. I'd never seen this new kid at school before. New kid? I could hear footsteps um, behind me. Uh oh! I took a quick glance not a kid. and saw the kid walking at a brisk pace. Is it a kid? I thought he was following me. Oh so no! So I took a left, which wasn't my usual route. Uh oh! I looked around again and saw him take the same left. <laughs> He's following my you. My heart started <laughs> pumping and my legs started shaking at the sound of the footsteps as they got louder <gasps> oh? and faster. Run! I then panicked and started <laughs> running. Good. <laughs> I remembered a shortcut in the nearby forest to my neighborhood. So oh I my. ran as fast as my legs could carry me. Good. Hey, Run. kid, wait oh. up. Oh, my. Said a heavy voice from behind me. Oh. <laughs> I tried my hardest not to stumble on the logs and boulders in my path. I could hear the sound of sticks and leaves being broken by some fast, oh. heavy footsteps. Oh, my gosh. My legs started throbbing as the adrenaline wore off. Whoa. So I took a detour towards a playground. Okay. I stopped to catch my breath. Hide. Looking around for somewhere to hide. Hide. Then it went in silent. That? Hide? I was doubtful that I lost him. Okay. I took my phone but out to hide. the police when I spotted the <laughs> local news article. What? <laughs> he took out his phone to call the police and got distracted by a news article? <gasps> I'm being chased. I'm being chased. 911. 911. Oh, let me just check Twitter real quick. Uh, oh, Instagram. Oh, Becky posted no picture. Goddamn like. <laughs> okay, I was waiting for a gap in the story. <laughs> if you're <laughs> being chased, you should hide and not just stand in the middle of the park looking on Twitter. I was doubtful that I lost If him. you were doubtful, then- I took then... my phone out to call the police Co when I spotted a local news article. <laughs> Caution, there is a suspicious man on the loose. Right! He the local prison and assaulted an officer. Yeah. Beware. Wow. He may look like a teen, yeah. but he is in his 20s. Uh-huh. If you see him, Call 911 wow. immediately and lock your door. Wow, that's really convenient. The news article just posted just like that, just as I'm being chased by this said man. My mind started rushing with thoughts. Uh, I started to panic. Yeah. All of a sudden, oh, no. someone started choking me with their arm. I tried to fight back, but they were so strong. I didn't stand a chance. My feelings of hope began to diminish. No. As I slowly blacked out. You got abducted, dude. I awoke you to find myself in a dark, damp room that looked like a basement. The floor was hard and cold. Oh. There were no windows, but there was a staircase and a bathroom. Uh. I tried to move, but I was tied up with a thick rope. Oh, yeah, no. How much was the deal? Huh? 200? 200? Listen, you gotta do a little better than that. Uh. Okay, fine. You'd better bring the right amount. It's 200? You'll be tied up like that kid. You what? Huh? Are they selling me? Selling? The guy sounded what? mad and anxious with whomever he was talking to. To do what? Right after he hung up, he opened the door and walked down the stairs with an evil smile. Uh, let go of me! I exclaimed as he taunted me. Yeah, let go! My arms started to fall Creepy asleep man. the tightness of the rope. Oh no! He came closer to me and I spat in his face. Uh, he looked at me in oh, sheer rage. Oh, that's bad! <gasps> Ah, he stabbed me in the leg because I spat him. <laughs> guys, don't don't be brave and spit in the guy's face. Come on now. He came closer to me what the? and I spat in his Why? face. Why? He looked at me in oh. sheer rage. Oh my god! Ah! What the? Then the doorbell rang. 
followed What's by that? pounding on the door. Did that really happen? The guy grabbed some tape and shut me up before I could scream for help. Oh, he shit. He slowly backed off, signaling me to keep quiet. Is this the guy? the front door. I looked around, trying to see what I could use to untie these ropes. Um, I spotted a rusty, oh. sharp edge sticking out of the wall. <laughs> Very this convenient. Was my one hope. <laughs> all right, come I on. I successfully got up and tried with all my might oh, to reach it. Yeah, you did. As I was trying to cut the rope from my hands, I could hear the commotion upstairs getting heated. Uh -huh. I managed to free myself from the ropes oh. when I heard the front door slam. Oh, is he gone? He didn't want to buy me? 200 pounds? All right, come on, that's cheap, man. All right, it's a good deal. Why didn't this guy buy me? Are you gonna hide? The silence was terrifying. Go back, hide. I was frozen in fear. Hide. Uh, Footsteps uh, started coming towards the door. Uh, I choked and shuffled back to my original position. Oh. Arms behind my back, wrists tightly yeah, pretend, locked together. Pretend, pretend. All right. Now, where were we? All right, kill him, kill him. Set the man. Kill him, grab he walked him. walked towards me, grabbed my ankles, uh, and started dragging me when the phone rang. He dropped me instantly and charged upstairs. What was he gonna do? I wasn't going to lose this opportunity. Oh my god, he needs to I go. I tied my feet, go. grabbed the closest thing to me, and hid behind some boxes. Finally! Go now, on. where go did on. you go? Hit him! He Hit said him! As he stampeded down the stairs. I heard him getting closer to where I was hiding. I bolted up from behind the boxes and saw him checking the bathroom. As he walked out, I struck him over the head uh, with a pole. Yes! Yes! He stumbled Hit him. and fell to the floor. Woo! A crimson red. Get that guy! His head. Oh! Did I ran you kill him? upstairs and out the front door. I stumbled my way to the closest house, screaming. The? Oh! The woman thankfully opened the door. She was Good. shocked and fearful when she saw me. Wow. The police were called and I was rushed into the hospital. <gasps> I'm still looking for that man. Even to this day. Whoa, guys. That was pretty cool. All right, yeah. An abduction story. Yeah, that kind of reminds me of something similar when I got mugged. Okay, because I was taking the, the the bus late at night, and then I get off the bus. No one gets off the bus with me, but then two guys were behind me, okay? And they were, like, following me, and I felt like they were, and they were calling out for me. And then as soon as I heard that, you know, I, uh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Maybe I'll animate it one day and, and finish that story, you know? Yeah, what do you guys think? All right, next animation I want to check out is Home Invasion Horror Story. Now, the idea of someone being in your home, the place, the one place where you're meant to feel safe, okay? This shit's scary. Here we go. Home Invasion Horror Story. Damn. Sounds it was terrifying. A cold, foggy evening when I contacted a close friend of mine to stay at my place for the night. All right. Friend, Both of us were only 10 around. years old at the time, and Ten. my parents were often at work until Whoa. midnight, so Whoa. I was usually alone with nothing to do except Damn. watching a television show or reading a book. Damn, your my parents. My friend Alex Damn. had agreed to come over and brought a game of Monopoly to pass some of the time. Monopoly? I also <gasps> asked if he was interested in going to explore an abandoned subway station three miles away. What? He seemed excited at first, <laughs> so we planned to go on the trip in the morning. <laughs> okay, so much has happened already, and I've only just started, okay? All right, anyone notice? He left the damn door open. We're going to see that what happens with that later. And next thing, all right, why is he suggesting to go explore an, a random abandoned subway station? Who, who, who suggests that? I remembered that the subway huh. dated back to the mid-1920s and oh. became abandoned in 1932 oh. after the market crash in 1929. <laughs> okay, jeez. All right, was this a history lesson? I was very fascinated about its history. Yeah, but clearly. I had a chance to go inside after <laughs> my parents had warned me not to enter. Yeah, don't go in As a... As I quietly there. slept in oh. my bed, I heard what sounded like a gunshot coming from the forest behind the house. Huh? Both of us woke up, frightened after what we had heard, uh? and I told my friend not to worry, as hunters tend to go into the forest on frequent occasions, hunters? but when I checked the time, it was 11.39pm. This seemed very unusual, as hunters only came into the forest between 8pm and 10pm. 10pm, so 11.39, so an hour and a half later, it's not that, but why would hunters go between 8pm and 10pm? <laughs> Huh, that's really, um, what? I looked at Alex and decided to get out of my bed, intending to look through the window and spot for anyone in the forest. Oh, good the idea. The darkness clouded my vision, so I was unable to see anyone in the forest. Uh-huh. And then- I turned around and looked at Alex again, uh? when suddenly I heard the front door squeak open. Uh 
Oh. Chills went down my spine. <laughs> Both of us quietly moved to the bathroom, locked the door, and kept the light off. Oh. It was the only safe place in the house. Whoa. Both of us were terrified as we desperately tried to keep as calm as we could. Stay calm. Be quiet. We heard footsteps getting louder oh. and louder uh -oh. until they stopped in front of the bathroom door. Uh-oh. And then this is when the most terrifying sound huh? forced my heart to almost huh? burst. Ah! Sorry, Zasuke. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Oh! Both of us screamed as the person chopped the door to pieces. It was pitch black inside the room, uh -oh. making it hard to find the you vent. Need to get out of that. By the time I spotted what? the vent, the person behind the door had made a hole big enough for us to see him. What the shit? Was he wearing? The man adorned black leather uh, and was wearing a plague doctor mask. What kind of? What? I scurried back to uh, the vent, but oh it was too high above the floor for us to reach it. Okay. So Alex told me to go first because he was the strongest. What? He lifted uh, me up on his shoulders, uh, allowing me to open the vent and crawl inside. Oh, God. When I looked at the door again, the man had managed to fit his arm through the hole oh, and reached no. for the lock. Oh, I no. I quickly grabbed Alex's Grab hand, Alex. but struggled to pull him up into Alex. the vent. Alex! 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 I shouted and began going after him. Run. I pursued the figure until I was led to the abandoned subway deep within the forest. What? Wait, wasn't the abandoned subway three miles away? You ran, you chased him for three miles? An abandoned subway station three miles away. We were just happening to explore that tonight as well. What were the coincidence of that happening? <laughs> it was chilly and foggy, oh, oh. meaning that I could only see objects within a range of five or six yards. This is bad. Inside the uh. subway was a pool of freezing cold water. Uh. It was so dark that I couldn't see anything. Uh. I had to rely on listening to the screams from Alex and track what? the source. What? As I slowly walked through the subway, I was now struggling to breathe under the intense stress and fear of the situation. Uh. Alex! Are you there? I called, but there was no response. Alex? I continued walking through the water until the exit was no longer visible. Uh. I was now experiencing a massive panic attack. Oh no. I had this lost is bad. track of Alex, and I had no idea where I was or how to get out. Uh where are you, Alex? Alex? Where are you? Alex? Alex? Huh? On October, Alex was confirmed dead after he was found inside the ticket office hanging from the ceiling? This is a real story? His closest friend remains missing? The guy, so he, so he, he went missing too? Then who told the story? Huh? I don't get it. Um, whoa. Okay, so it was based on a true story? I had no idea. Okay, well, um, then who made up the story? If they, if they both died. Uh, I don't think that story was real, but regardless, uh, do not leave your door open, please. So the next animation I want to check out is called The Bridge. The Bridge. Oh, scary. So this story takes place oh. when I was about 16 years old. 16? At my school, okay. I played for the volleyball team. Volleyball every team? every year we would go to a camp and do volunteer work for this guy. What? <laughs> this guy? <laughs> I played for the volleyball team and every year we would go to a camp every year. and do volunteer work for, for this, this, this guy. guy. Yeah, sure, this guy. The camp was in the middle of nowhere. Uh -huh. When we got to the camp, uh -huh. we immediately started to work until 8pm. Uh, this was why? around October, so it was already dark at 8. Oh, yeah. My two friends and I were sitting around the fire I hate when trying it gets to figure dark out early. something we could do. Yeah, so what we are we going to so do? Huh? Come on. We heard that there was a small river down the hill from the camp, and we thought we could check it out. Yeah? Good idea. Problem was, uh -huh. is that it was some guy's property, oh. and the owner of the camp told us to not disturb him oh. since the guy was a little strange. We weren't How? really supposed to leave the camp, but being 16 years old, uh -huh. we loved breaking the yeah, rules. Yeah, I've done it plenty of times, broken the rules. We walked about 10 minutes from the camp and finally reached the river. Oh. It was bigger than we expected, uh -huh. and there was a large wooden bridge that crossed it. Oh. The bridge was about 20 feet long and was big enough to let a truck go over it's it. It's the bridge, guys! The My bridge! My two friends and I decided to go under the bridge and check it out. No, no, no. The bridge is As bad. As we were walking by the shoreline, we saw uh -uh. two headlights off in the distance it's moving towards the bridge. Someone's coming! So we bolted underneath it and uh. hid. We then heard the truck roll over our heads and to the other side. Do you think they My friends were and I chilled us? there for a while just talking and throwing rocks in the water. It was about 8.30 at this time, and now it was pretty much pitch black. Damn! That's when we started to hear a slow rumble in the distance. Uh-oh! The same truck had come back, and this time it was moving much slower. We stayed put uh under the bridge, stifling our laughter. Huh? Eventually, the truck moved over the bridge, uh but rather than going over to the other side, the truck stopped right on top of us. Oh no! The only thing you could hear was the rushing water and the hum of the engine. 
Um, then, Does he the know? door of the truck swung open, and out came a loud thump huh? on top of the bridge. He knows, then he we knows. heard a loud scream, saying, huh? I know you're out there! I know you're out there! I'm gonna find you! I'm gonna find you! Damn. I looked at my friends, and they were both shaking in fear. <laughs> that is scary. This must have been the crazy property owner. <laughs> that, and he yeah. seemed pissed that we were on his land. Yeah. He started screaming and wow. saying he was going to hurt us if he finds us. Damn. We could see that he had a flashlight and was swinging it around looking for us. Wow. He heard loud thumps as he walked around a little bit, calling out for us. And thank God he never went under the bridge. Damn. Eventually, it went silent, and it sounded as if he went back into his truck. Yeah, go. I was too terrified to move. Yeah, don't, don't I move. sat there for about ten minutes, and then my one friend, who we'll call Trevor, uh, whispered in my ear, is he saying still that there? we have to go. He's still there? I gave him a quick nod, ten and minutes. in slow motion, we moved out from under the bridge. Uh-oh. We started to army crawl on the shoreline of the river, and I remember looking behind me to see the top of the bridge. Is he there? I saw a white Ford F-150, and oh. the driver's seat was the man staring right at me with Whoa. a sinister smile and he even gave me a little wave uh. at that moment i screamed and uh. ran my friend saw me run and took off after me run run you're screaming from behind us oh my god he's I chasing took a us quick glance behind me and saw that he was chasing after us <laughs> and i couldn't quite make out the object in his hand <laughs> but it seems to be a weapon of some sort huh? we oh my ran goodness. into the forest and ducked behind a bush it was pitch black in the forest oh. and we couldn't hear a thing we That's sat scary. there for a while, just shaking. The man never walked by us, and we never heard him. Oh. After we gathered That's our courage, end. we got up and walked back to camp. Oh, wasn't that got scary? Got tents and tried to fall asleep. Oh, there you go. The next morning, we talked to the <laughs> camp owner about the man that Nothing. owned the property of the river. <laughs> the camp owner said that he didn't know much about the man, uh -huh. but he knows that he has some mental problems and he'd huh? been accused of assault. Huh? I am so happy that we were able to escape from underneath Jeez. the bridge. I can't imagine what would have happened if he caught us. Damn. So what? Nothing really happened. You just got chased. That's all you, That's all that happened. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. I guess it's the thought that something could have happened, huh? All right. These animations have been great so far and they've been animated so well. Llama Arts has been, her animation skills have gotten better and better. Uh, definitely. So uh, let's check out just one more. Uh, a college horror story too. Okay. Let's check out this one. College horror story too. Oh. Damn. Back when I was in college, me and my best friend Miko oh. heard a rumor that our dormitory was haunted. Yeah? I didn't encounter anything in the two years of staying there, so I was skeptical. Oh. I could see why haunted. the rumor started. Our dorm was kind of creepy. Yeah. And Miko was convinced it was true. Yeah. One day, true. I placed a hot cup of coffee in the sink and said, What? If this cup magically empties itself by the time we get back from school, I'll believe you. Th believe Deal. it's haunted? Want to bet on it? Come on, you won't bet on it because you know you lose. So what? If the coffee will be disappeared from the mug, that will prove that our place is haunted. So time passes. When I arrived home, I noticed Miko was asleep. Oh, Miko? It seemed quite weird as he would normally be playing games or cooking in yeah, the kitchen. Yeah, Miko, cook me dinner. I put my bag huh? on the table and Don't noticed shit. the cup in the sink. Oh. <laughs> I knew it's it. It's still there? I said I to myself. <laughs> I started to pour the coffee away when my phone vibrated. Oh. Miko? Why are you calling me? Miko, you're- Why are you calling me? You're sleeping right there! I thought perhaps he left his phone at school. Oh. I answered. Okay. Hello? Miko? Hey, just eat without me tonight if you're hungry. I'm still at the store getting food supplies for next week. I grabbed some coffee, I noticed we're almost out. Oh, and I tried looking uh, for that green but, sauce you put uh, in your homemade uh, burgers. Uh, uh, but, uh, no luck, though. Uh, 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 oh, where's he gone? Where's but, he gone? Wait, another checkout just opened. I'll cook tonight. Uh, I shouldn't be too long. See ya. Where is he? Where is he? I was confused. Huh? My eyes darted around the room as I tried to gather my thoughts. That's when I realized something. Is the coffee still hot? The coffee's still hot. <laughs> oh! I was too freaked out at this point. Oh my god, run. Oh! No! 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 Damn, I died. I'm the one telling the story and I died. Hey, I uh, hope you're hungry. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm not hungry. <gasps> I'm in bed. <gasps> That's not me. That's my dead body. Oh, no. Pizza time? Uh, oh, no. <gasps> oh! Whoa, 
so what was i possessed maybe oh i kind of like that one it was kind of you know like a little bit of a chilly spooky story all right guys i'm gonna end the video there be sure to check out llama arts uh, her channel is amazing and subscribe drop her drop her a subscribe and check out some of her videos some more of her videos i've made lots of reaction videos to her so i'll also leave that down in the description if you want to check that out also one last shout out to mesh sub animations my animation channel yeah i might even make some horror animations which i might you know commentate but I, my, my aim for this channel is to basically work with a bunch of animators and you know pay them fairly uh, and make sure they're getting paid a lot. You know, I probably won't make any money this channel. Uh, in fact, it'll definitely cost me a lot of money. But uh, yeah, uh, I need you guys to support right now to show it some love. Uh, animation should should happen from 2020. I'm really excited to launch it. Either way though, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I have the shout out, measureself.com again, uh, if you want to get the plushie. And also, uh, we're also trying to make a book from next year, which should launch from next year onwards, okay? And uh, we are fundraising it and uh, all you guys, all I need from you guys is ten dollars uh and you will get an e uh version of the book thank you guys so much for the support uh so many amazing great videos to come and uh yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you very soon bye bye